Happy Manliness Monday, YouTube. So I'm continuing this little series of Don'ts for Boys. It is a 1906 copyright by Henry Altimus. So I'm going 10 pages a day, reading the, the lessons, and talking uh, whether I agree or disagree with them. So let's get to it. Don't refuse to do a favor for your sister. She is entitled to as much courtesy as you would pay to the sister of some other fellow. Um, you should always respect your family members, especially if they deserve your respect. If they're good people, respect them. Duh. Don't believe any fellow you're superior unless you know him to be white through and through. Um... What? I... No. I mean, here's what it's... I mean, that's what it says. But, uh... No. No. That just sounds like some racist garbage. Alright, uh, number three. <laughs> Don't be ashamed if your hands show work. Lily-like hands are a disgrace to a boy. You know what? Yeah. You shouldn't be ashamed if your hands show work. You should be proud of the scars on your body. They tell a story of your life. You shouldn't ever be ashamed of what you do for a living. Because if you think about it, a lot of high school dropouts, they're real hard workers. And they might have a job you know, as a janitor. They might have a job as a garbage man. Those are government jobs. With good pay good benefits and they might not be the most attractive but hell they're making a good good dollar for themselves don't ever disparage your own hard work be a gentleman at home don't be rude to your parents or patronizing to your younger brothers and sisters. Again, I was talking in the last episode. This is one that just comes down to don't be an asshole. Be a man every time throughout your entire day. Don't be noisy. The, the, the guffaw evinces less enjoyment than a quiet smile. Uh, no. If you're laughing, laugh be happy be jolly life is too short not to laugh come on be cheerful don't carry around a woebegone look or act as though all the trouble in the world were resting on your shoulders uh yeah i don't know what more to say um don't aim to be an ideal boy. Be the best type of the real boy. That doesn't really... You should always strive to be better. Um, to be closer to ideal. Uh, so I don't understand. Don't giggle. For the love of decency, never giggle. Screw that, I giggle all the time. And just two, two above this, they said be cheerful. So, what? Don't fail to ask for needed information, but do not waste the time of business associates by silly queries. Yeah, uh, guys, if you don't know something, don't be afraid to ask. 
ask for advice. But don't ask about stupid stuff. You're wasting people's time. Don't play sick. Endurance is a business qualification. Semi-invalids are not retained long. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't play sick. You should always work to the best of your ability. And don't fake it just because you don't want to go to work. I know everyone at some point is guilty of this, but if this becomes habitual, you're probably going to be fired soon. Don't think it necessary to spend, to be a spend thrift in order to be a good fellow. Don't think it necessary to be a spendthrift. Uh, I don't understand. Next. <laughs> Let honesty in matters great and small be your life's trademark. The boy who steals a cent or an hour has the gravity of nature against him, and he'll land at the bottom of the hill later on. Yeah. Let honesty be your, be your, in matters great and small, be your life's trademark. Yeah. Be an honest man. Be an honest person. That should go without saying. And if you're a man, you are honest. Otherwise, you're just a guy. Don't forget that your mom, the... <laughs> Don't forget that your boss knows a good thing when he sees it. He'll always raise your salary when you are turning dollars into his till. Uh, mm, a good boss will. Not every boss does. However, you should always put your best foot forward at work. Always try hardest, your hardest. Don't talk gammon. No one believes a boy who loves the sound of his own voice better than veridity. Verity. Basically, don't talk for the sake of talking. Okay. Don't ape the cynic. When your elders will play card you the placard you the fool while the others will shy away from you as a bitter dose I don't understand what they're getting there um, a lot of these are very outdated uh, hmm. don't blow in even a dime just for show no one fails to size up boys who spend with conspicuous carelessness basically if you just blow your money all the time and you're throwing money at everything uh, you get taken for a sucker and a lot of uh, con artists look for that sort of thing a lot of thieves look for people who spend a lot of money because that generally means they have a lot of money to spend and they'll take you don't forget that a burst of anger is a vulgarity. Learn to control your temper. This is <laughs> this is a great piece of advice, guys. Um, and this is one that has taken me years to learn how to control. And uh, to be honest, I'm still working on it. Um, I try to do the best to control my temper as I can. Sometimes it does get the better of me. But you should always work to control your temper. Um, in fact, you should always work to control all of your emotions. Uh, look up stoicism and do your best to practice it. Don't be inquisitive regarding the affairs of your friends. Basically, if don't be a snoop. Um, if they want to tell you something, they're going to tell you. Now, it's one thing to ask about somebody, you know, how are they doing? Are they okay? You know, I remember they hurt, had this problem. Did they get it resolved? That's fine. 
But when you start sneaking around and snooping into people's lives, I don't care what your intentions are, it always, always turns out poorly. Don't bet. If you lose, you are out. If you win, some fellow may have to traverse purgatory. Um... No. I would like to rewrite this one. Don't bet to the point. Uh, no. Don't bet such an amount that you can put yourself out or your friend out. Or, hmm, no. Don't bet more than you can afford to lose. And don't bet more than your friend can afford to lose. Because you don't know what that... I mean, it's hard to gauge, but you don't know what that guy has or what they're going through. And it's better to avoid it, if at all possible. Uh. Don't hesitate to begin the alphabet and copybook at any age. The young man who wishes to improve himself is to be respected. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, you should always be seeking to improve yourself. And that's the main reason I have this channel. I have Nightsmith. Um, the Manliest Mondays are to improve you into being a better, better man. Uh, the Philosophy Wednesdays are to kind of carry that forward a little bit and try to expand your, your thought and your perspective on things. And the, the Project Fridays are to give you a skill and help you build a trade and, and something that you can do for yourself. Um, so always try to improve yourself. And the more you do, the more you work on that, the more you will be respected. Um, it doesn't matter if you're copying things for intelligence sake or you're you know, working on your handwriting because well, here's one thing that people will always comment on. A lot of people love my handwriting and it's because I work on it. Um, always, always do your best to improve yourself. The braggart is always a coward. Huh. Pardon me, it's kind of late. Um, <laughs> the bra a braggart is always a coward and gener generally remains a nobody. Don't boast. This is great advice. Um, basically, let your success do the talking for you. Let the results speak for you. Don't brag about things. Um, line from Game of Thrones when uh, season one I believe it was Joffrey you know uh, was talking to his grandfather I believe and it amounted to if you have to brag or say that you're the king you're not a real king last page for today don't fight your innocence. Don't fight for your innocence too strongly if wrongly wrongly accused. Wait. Protest is bond servant of suspicion. Uh, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that one. Let me know about that in the comment section down below. Um. I think that's a different way of say, saying, methinks thou doth protest too much. But, I don't know. I think you should always fight for your innocence, especially when you know you're innocent. Um, hmm. Don't tease. A practical joker gradually loses caste. Be witty, but impersonal. Yeah, you don't want to make fun of people because you just look like an asshole. Again, don't be an asshole. <laughs> that should be a tagline. Be a man, not an asshole. Um, guys, it's simple. Just be a good person. And 
it's good to be witty. It's good to have sarcasm and humor, but not at somebody else's expense. Don't let your conscience get away from you. It might get you killed. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, violence, uh, gang violence, that whole life, that whole mentality. Uh, because it's a very unconscionable way to live. Um, when you do stupid things, when you break the law, when you go against what you know is right in your heart, um, eventually it will catch up to you. So, that's the second of Don'ts for Boys. Great book. Uh, thank you, Mike, for lending it to me. It is a pleasure going through this. Some of it is very strange and very outdated um and guys if you like this please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content i'm going to be going through uh, several more of these probably five or six more of these at least um and let me know what you think down in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching and have a good night